Welcome everyone, my name is Comet and today I have for you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and we are here in Team Deathmatch on the Karachi map and you're gonna see that I managed to do pretty well in this map and even got some kill streaks. Um, something that I will admit I don't do that often at the moment because I'm still getting used to um, the um, controller and everything. I've been playing PC for a long time now, but I managed to um, get r rolling quite well. It did took me a bit to get rolling in this match, but once I managed to find a good pace, I, I was on. And I guess you can see right off the back, I try to always look for these corridors because people like to... Um, oh, that was a good kill. People like to go into these... Um, areas like that and cover those but they tend to only focus on one target at a time so you can take advantage of that with your teammates like always let your teammates go in and you can cl uh, clear the area um, however I was a bit lost at the moment because I didn't remember Karachi uh, from back then I, I, do, I do remember that this map was awesome um, for just a lot of cows However, I didn't remember a lot of these corridors, a lot of the um, areas that you could get into because this map has a lot of areas that you can climb or you can hide on. So that was something that I had to... Like this, look. You uh, you can go on the back side of all of this area and then try to flank the, uh, the opponent. And that's what I was looking for. I, re I didn't remember that... This map has a lot of these of, of, of areas like this. It's just that I didn't remember where they were. But you, you will see that I go through them um, in this map. I was trying to go through corridors or to special areas. And here I managed to get, if I remember correctly, a double kill, which is really cool. I always wait to go full heal. And then once I'm healed, go in again and I get the double kill. Let's go. That was really cool. Um, however, in this video, I also want to talk about something, and that is the weapons that I'm using. Not only the map, uh, but the weapon is very important. In fact, could be the most important uh, aspect because um, up until this point, I have been locked into the SBA. I feel like this weapon, uh, well, this is the first weapon that you get, and you cannot change it until you get into a certain level. But now I have been playing a few matches and I managed to level up to a point where I have now unlocked the loadouts. So, here, look, in this area right here, there are five different things that you can climb. And therefore it's very hard to go through these. Because they can get into the building of the right, into the building of the left. They can go on top of the, of the truck that is in the center. So, look, look. Like I mentioned, they can climb all of these areas, and it's very hard to get into there, um, push through there, uh, unless you have like a, an RPG or a sniper or something like that, or, or a utility that will allow you to um, to disorient a bit these people, you know. Um, however, like I was mentioning, now that I have the loadouts, I will try to go for those special um, equipment so that I can um performing the maps a lot better but not only this i feel like the sba is not that good uh, but i'm not sure about that i just feel like sometimes i shoot first and even though i shoot first i am the one who might lose the trades because of the weapon sometimes i i feel like it is indeed the weapon that is not that strong so now that I have the loadouts, I'm going to look for a better weapon. And I have a really good plan for this. So hear me out on this. I'm going to go and try to find the best weapons for each class. So for example, there is the assault rifles. There are the SMGs, the shotguns, snipers, and so on. So I will try to play a match or a few matches with each and one of these weapons to see how they perform. I will also try them in different maps to see what works the best for me um, on those maps. So, 
that is something that I want to do. It's, it, it's going to be something, for example, uh, for the assault rifles. I'm going to go and test every single one of the assault rifles to see how they perform and then test them on all of them on different maps. So, for example, on Karachi, I'm going to be playing all of the assault rifles on Karachi to see how they perform right here. Then all the shotguns on Karachi, then SMGs, etc, etc, up until I have the best weapons um, for my playstyle. Um, I, I really like to move around the map a lot. I don't like to stay in one place. It's always been my playstyle. Uh, sometimes you do have to wait, such as right here, because you get so many free kills. Like, the enemy team just spawned right here. And I wanted to get some kills, so I managed to wait and get really... Look at that. Nice. I, th I think I did die after this because someone came and, and looked for me. And I was low on the ammo on top of that. But still, um, it was my not a good positioning for me. But I did manage to get the, the cruiser. The cruiser missile. And I got the double kill because they were camping near the area that I told you that people like to climb. And there's a lot of uh, spots over there. <laughs> I managed to, key, to, to get a double kill in that in that spot. Now, um, like I mentioned, since I will be making these loadouts, that means that there's going to be a lot of matches as well. Uh, so, um, I'm going to do... Um, yeah, I'm going to try the weapons and see how each and one of them will uh, perform. But I'm going to try them without attachments because I haven't unlocked them yet. I know the attachments boost a weapon. Um, however, my, the way that I am thinking about it is that if a weapon is strong in base form, with attachments it will only become stronger. It's not like it's gonna be uh, much better than other weapons because of a specific attachment. That ain't happening. Rather, if it's already strong just in base form, it means that with attachments, it would just won't even be a comparison. So I'm very excited for that project. It's gonna be something like trying to find the best weapon. Obviously, this is something that they will always change. Like it's um, common in the recent Call of Duties. They will patch the weapons. They will buff others. They will nerf others. Um, up, up until um, they are satisfied with the meta. Um, and right now, it's only we are in season zero. Like we are not even in season one yet. Um, so I am excited to try uh, everything and be ready for the season one. Now, when will the new season begin? If I remember correctly, it's gonna be soon in December. But yeah, I'm gonna try these weapons and see how everything goes, cause it's gonna be very good for the performance for my performance in the future. Especially once we get into these special areas, such as the one that I'm uh, using at the moment, you know, all of these areas are really good to when, when you have the right weapon to take advantage on. Like right here, something perhaps that could hit from longer range could have been better, uh, or something with a, a more stable recoil would be better. But still, I managed to get a, a few kills over here. Um, because people were spawning right there. But managed to get one. Or did I? Not, not quite. But almost. There was one person camping, look, with the sniper just right there. But the web, like, I, I, I am still getting used to the recoil of the weapon. But also to the vibration of the controller. Because the controller, it vibrates so hard, man. Um, to a point where it actually moves my finger. <laughs> so... Once I get used to that, uh, I mean, it's gonna be much better, I feel. Especially for the longer range. The longer range, uh, it's something that I will have to get used because the vibration does move my fingers. Be, like, it may not look like it, but the vibration of the PlayStation 5 controller is very aggressive in the sense that it, it will move your hands <laughs> so i need to get used to that but uh, regardless of that the match was really fun 
and I managed to do um, well overall. You're gonna see once we finish right here in just a bit. I think it's about 20, just five, uh, four more kills. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for the new project. And I am exa excited to bring these new matches to, um, to the channel. And, man, I'm so happy that I finally get to play Call of Duty again. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Let me show you the final score. The final score was this. I ended uh, 19 and 11. Unfortunately, I did not manage to get to the 2.0 KDA. Nonetheless, it was really, really good. I am happy for how everything went. Um, it will always like I. My goal is to aim or, or is to achieve 2.0 or 2.5 KDA. That will be really good. The only issue that I have is that if you do that. Um, you're gonna be placed against better players and therefore your KDA naturally goes down due to the um, skill matchmaking a uh, skill based matchmaking you know so even like even if you are really good your KDA may be low because you are also facing good players right in uh, so the system itself wants your KDA to get closer to 1.0 but uh, let's see how far I can push my KDA. At the moment, I have some matches where I am uh, 2.5, um, almost 3.0. Other matches where I am below 1.0, so negative. But in general, if I'm close to 2.0, that's going to be my goal. Um, so I'm going to work on getting a better KDA, but also I am going to work on the win rate. And I, I enjoy winning, so winning and KDA goes hand in hand. And on top of that, I'm going to be working on working uh, on finding the best weapons as well. And I'm going to bring the results to the channel, but also the process. I'm going to be playing every single one of these weapons and I'm going to be bringing it to the channel to s just so that you can see my results. But for now, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Comet and I am signing out. Peace.